Uh, I don't have a time and date. Normally this is a nice time and date stamp over here, but since this is an older camera, it's hard to work with. I guess you're not going to see what date it is. Well, it's September 1st, 2023, and it is the start. Well, I'm in the middle of a long trip, but this is the start of the long-ass moto vlog. So I'm going to spend like a minute or two sitting here and talking before I go. I got lots to say, and I'll talk while I'm riding, but it is the evening, and I guess I'll start by also saying I am pretty gosh darn fatigued i've been riding slash driving for the past two and a half days i have like a three hour break yesterday but just i'm just tired never mind the altitude so that's part of the reason for my breathing that's exponentially compounded by the fact that i am fat this is where i is koa holiday in ure colorado this was not part of the plan the plan was to well, I'll save that for when I take off, but just look at the bike before I go. I took it off uh, for a little bit last night into the dirt and tested it. I do not want to be, whoa! Woo! Look at that tire spinning, look at it. It should have wound down way faster than that. Okay, did the crash bars work? Yes, that dug in. Of course, my handlebar made contact. But hey, I managed to get off the bike, so that was, that was cool. Ugh. Ain't no thing. Here we go again. Perhaps with a bit more caution. After that, I went and I rode around um, like on some dirt trails and stuff, and that was really cool. Oh, bottomed it out. <laughs> Look at all this. This is crazy. It's a cool place, dude. Just roads everywhere. This is so cool. And the plan is to take this into the mountains of Ure. That's the short version, okay? Right now I'm going to head into town and get to dinner because I told people on the internet where I was going to be and I said, hey, if you want to meet up with me on the off chance you're going to be in Ure, I'm going to be at this restaurant at five o'clock. It is four o'clock. By the way, if you didn't notice, there's my little house. There's a little car, little motorcycle trailer, made it all the way to Ure. I'm so proud of it. People here are really nice so far. Alrighty. Sorry if this information isn't uh, laid out very neatly, but I got a lot to say before the real writing starts. The real writing starts tomorrow, but today I'm going to go in town, have dinner, invite people to come out and see me for a McMini meet. I would guess one or two people might actually show up because I am kind of in a small town. It's Friday. It's Labor Day weekend. It's going to be really busy there. Luckily, I don't think I'll have a problem finding a place to park because this bike is so tiny. But I'm fatigued. I'm hungry. I want to try to eat as soon as I can. But I also want to like fart around town just a little bit before I sit there. So yesterday, I rode this around in the desert last night. But then that morning, I trailered it an hour north to Pikes Peak at the entrance. And I took this bike from the base to the top all the way back down again. And that's something I've wanted to do for years. More than I've wanted to do this, honestly. I made it a video of me talking about that. Uh, finally Friday, so if you want to see more footage of that, whatever, that's its own video. But today, I'm starting the long ass motor vlog. There are so many things that could have gone wrong that haven't gone wrong yet. Some things have gone wrong, and there's so much potential for things to go wrong. All because I insist on taking my tiny, stupid little electric motorcycle into the wilderness. And in order to do that, I had to trailer it for like two and a half days just to get it to somewhere where I could ride it. And that's just like the tip of the stupid statistical bureaucratic stuff I had to do to get to this part geographically and a time in my life. But I decided it was important enough for me to just freaking do it. So at some peril and potentially much more peril to come, I'm doing a once in a lifetime trip in my opinion. I'm bringing my stupid little e-bike out into the mountains. Now I'm sorry if I'm talking over wind noise, but I think this is the time to talk about the stuff while I'm riding into town. But naturally, because this bike has such limited range, 40 miles if conditions are good. Saw it. Little dirt bike, little dirt bike. Yes, that's my family. This thing can go 40 miles if the conditions are good. And that's assuming, of course, that wherever you stop, you have a place to charge. And then if you have a place to charge, best case scenario, you could charge your bike in four hours. So you have to plan the whole trip based on those two things. You have to have places to charge and no more than 40 miles in between. However, you know, that's honestly on the high end. I want to be safer than that. So I wrote up a very nice detailed map and itinerary of where to be and where to charge and how to get to where I'm going and all that stuff. You know, I planned it. And some problems that arose were, well, I'll start with this. I'll explain what the route was supposed to be and what it can't be now. The, the original plan route for this bike is kind of ruined. I'll put up a picture on Google Maps if it doesn't mess up. Google Maps keeps drawing the, the lines in the wrong place, but the map at least shows the points correctly. And I wrote down like the mileage and the time and I've calculated everything for to make sure it would work in a day. But anyhow, I was planning to stop at Amphitheater Campground, 
way up there in the mountains, which I went to on my way out here. I came out, drove all the way out. It's like 15 minutes from here up in the mountains. I drove up there, hauled my little bike, and it went, we're full. I'm like, cool. Why did I show up there at a campground that's full? Because you cannot reserve ahead of time. And I guess shy of calling at the base of the mountain, there's no way to know that it'd be open. I took the bet. I thought there'd be at least one spot. There wasn't, so that was a waste of time. I got up there and called the RV park in town, which was my next option. They go, we have one dispersed camping. I'm like, okay, that's a place to sleep. But all I really, really want is a place that my car and trailer can get into and preferably has electricity in my parking, which is pretty much just RV parking because I really kind of need to be able to charge this bike at my home base, at my spawn point. Anyway, nicely in the phone said you might try KOA, which I'm like, well, I don't want to go there. That's like seven miles in the opposite direction of where the routes are, but like I gotta have a place to park, so. Luckily for me, wow, it's getting windy, really, really windy right now. Shoot, man, really windy, what the heck? You can see it on the little trees there. Anyway, I got really lucky. They had, I think, one spot left, and it happened to be a nice spot. Granted, it's expensive, and it's more than I need. It has water, and there's facilities, and all this stuff I didn't need. I was ready to sleep somewhere where there's, like, just electricity. A shower would be good, but those two things. And that would have been, like, $25 a night. This is, like, five times that, so that's very cool. But, hey, I'm happy to have a place to sleep and charge, but that combined with something else that went wrong changes my whole route so based on my map i was planning to sleep in amphitheater campground and then ride the million dollar highway for a stretch of about 25 miles which will take about an hour which the bike should be able to handle stop in silverton and charge there go back north a bit off-roading on something called i forgot what the trail is called but then get to black bear pass but as far as I can tell, Black Bear Pass is closed. I called several numbers and left messages trying to get information. I got no information. So if I were to go out there at this point, it'd be a gamble. If I went out there and found out it's closed, I'd have to ride back a million dollar highway, lose all that charging time and lose the whole day and only have gone a million dollar highway two ways. So that possibility wasn't worth guaranteeing I get off road somewhere. So dudes, nice to see my family out here. Uh oh, is he pulling out? That guy is staying at my camp. I recognize that vehicle is pretty unique. So, based on those two things, I decided to change my route. I sat down after I unpacked and set up my camp. I spent like 30 minutes trying to think about where I can go based on where I'm staying and where the charging points are and how much time I have. You know, it's, it's very limiting. And the plan currently is tomorrow go straight to Imogee and straight to Telluride. So I'm completely bypassing the million dollar highway in Silverton, which I'm pretty bummed about because I had this very nice just loop that was going to be 66 Six miles long and take all day and get done just in time but there's no way now is that sprinkles that's a little bit of rain spritzes the restaurant is there somewhere okay there it is that's a cute ass little place thanks thanks bro you gotta know my bike is faster and i deserve to lead <laughs> not really uh yeah so i went up through here up in those mountains i'm gonna kill some time i'm not gonna go to the restaurant right away i'll hit it on the way back so yeah i've already been through here and i came down there's a lot of traffic i'm surprised there's less traffic now and i knew as i was saying that i was jinxing it but that's okay because i'm on my bike and i'm i feel so free oh, my stupid little e-bike in the wilderness, I'm not in the wilderness, in a new strange land, I feel like I can do whatever I want. Okay, so I need to turn around here in a minute. Oh, this is a cool place. Yeah, because I'm only going to dinner tonight, and the base isn't too far from Uray, I have plenty of mileage to piss around. Let's see, I'm gonna go this way. A little gravel road up the hill, see what there is. Look at all these touring guys. Yeah, I saw these guys coming in. I saw them parking or messing with their bikes. Like, these guys are doing it right. It's an older bike that I've had. <laughs> saw dudes. I'm just Myron. Maybe I'll chat him up. What am I doing? What do I care? They're all? There's a couple Nordens up there. So they're all Dukes except for a couple Nordens. There's just two Nordens, but they're all KTMs. Are you on some kind of promotional tour by chance, or are you all just buds? I'm sorry, I know it's really windy all of a sudden. Oh, it's raining hard. Shoot. Yeah. Well, I like it quite a bit, but I always tell people you shouldn't get one because it's a expensive piece of junk. <laughs> it's really fun, but I had to go through a lot of trouble to get it here, you know. It has very limited range, whereas you guys can do it properly and just ride. Oh, yeah, I know. I just was, they're, all, they're all so similar. I was wondering if you're all just super best friends or if... Wow, that's... childhood friends with one of my friends, and they regrouped up, and he's bringing them into our rides and stuff like that, and, you know, we're the same guys. Most of us are neighbors, but one guy lives up here. They're all pilots, and they're all, we're all pretty close. That's awesome. What day did you get here? We were starting the 
today. Today, and then what's you gonna do like the passes or something? We've already done engineer. We camped on the side engineer in the woods. We've been okay. Okay, awesome. We take everything. We just mid trip. Whatever. We just wash and cook clothes. We only take a couple clothes. Yeah, yeah. The fastest it can charge with this big heavy thing, four hours. I told you it's awful. The best I can hope for is 40 miles. What? Exactly. So, if me being out here. Options, not this one. They've been making this one for like 10 years. So. At best. You trucked it here though, right? Trucks. Yeah, I trailered it. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, have a good ride, guys. Nice talking to you. And that's what it's all about. The other guys got it done. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about, but I was like, I'm not going to pass my opportunity to talk to some motorcycle bros. If you've ever watched a long ass moto vlog, that's part of what makes them fun and special is I try to wear the camera. Oh, it's a burner! Yes! He acknowledged me! If I don't mention burners in a bit, it's because I forgot about the talking point. But on long ass moto vlogs, I take a camera like this and I try to stick it on a headband when I'm not riding the bike just so you get more of <clears throat> what happens during the day so if I'm not lazy I'll stick a camera headband on my sweaty forehead here in a minute but that burner reminded me I actually brought my burner Ronan here um, into town my friend's place I stayed there in Pueblo is this motorcycle parking yeah I mean I guess that's super allowed motorcycle parking only yeah that's that's me and if he can't back out of here, then he's, okay, that looks fine to me. Awesome. And I'm by the street, so if a couple more want to get in, they can. Anyway, um, I trailered my, my bike, my trailer, all my stuff, and my dog. Um, one day, stopped in Pueblo, dropped my dog off there. I stayed there a day and played with him and the bike in town. And then today I left him there and I came out here. So he's going to be with my friend for a couple days. Anything else I have to say before I stop talking to the camera? Because the long ass moto vlogs are usually you just watch what's going on rather than me talking to the camera. But every once in a while I got to do these little dumps. How early am I? 40 minutes early. That rain just came and went. You can't even tell that it rained. Speaking of which, among the things that could go wrong, it's supposed to rain tomorrow night. So, I mean... <laughs> I don't know, man. Stuff could go wrong, but I'm so optimistic, <laughs> despite the things going wrong. Something else went wrong, too. Oh, yeah, so on that planned route, originally I wanted to go in the opposite direction. I wanted to go from the place in Ure to Imogi to tell you ride to do Black Bear Pass to Silver 10 Million Dollar Highway, but I found out that the... I found out the Black Bear Pass is only one direction, so I had to change the loop, and now that's ruined, and so I'm trying to make this plan, this trip work. Half the fun is figuring it out as you go along, but unfortunately with a stupid little bike like this, you kind of have to know where you're going. You kind of have to know what to expect, so I'm trying. I'm going to shut up and put a camera on my head like a goober and go eat some food. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Sorry, what? Restaurant, you mean? Yeah. Okay, thank you. What's up, dude? How's it going, man? I was actually just going to walk my dog around the block and put him in the car, but uh, you're hanging. Can I pet him? Oh, absolutely. He's super friendly. Hey, Poop. How are things? He's more interested in food, apparently. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Man. No problem. Sorry. That's a good idea. Where is ice cream? All right, thanks. Hey, Poop, how are things? Yeah, I was, I was really hungry. I was like, I'm going to just eat early, but I guess they're not open till 5, so. Oh, right on then. Do you live near here? Or? Uh, ish. I, it was about two and a half hours. I'm just south of Durango. You, but, so I mean, you came just to see me? Oh, dude, heck yeah, man. Thanks. You think it's worth trying to get ice cream? Yeah. I know you don't live here, but he got back in like a minute. That was fast. Dude, yeah. I'm going to try it. Y'all come right back here. Right on, man. Okay, cool. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Everything you need to make s'mores. Oh, I want s'mores. Hi. Yep. No problem. 
There you go. Have a good day. Yep. Hey, can I ask where you got that ice cream? Yeah. Right at the Yankee Girl Cafe. Okay, right. that means I'm blind. So <laughs> it's well, the white upper left sign. Okay. So it's the same. Okay, that yeah. makes thank you. That makes sense. May I please have two scoops, like in a cup thingy? Uh, mint chocolate chip, and I will let you decide what you think is good for the next one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> um, the strawberry cheesecake is really good. Strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, that one's really good. Thank you. Have a good time. Thank you, you too. Cheesecake and mint chuck chip. So is that, you, is that a Yankee girl? Or? Yeah. So I'm lying, by the way. I, really, Sorry. I didn't introduce myself when I walked up. It just, as soon as I walked away, away, I realized oh, I don't know his name. Hello. Hi, sir. How are you? I like the, uh, the little, little setup there. Hey. It's not little at all. Yeah. It's a big, obnoxious. Just a bacon cheeseburger? Yeah, yeah. Can I request other toppings or is that all? Uh, yeah, it just comes with bacon and cheese, all the toppings and over there. Okay, awesome. Oh, and then fries, and that's it. Walter White? I've heard that before. I'm sure. Just, please uh, ch uh, change it to Walter, like UH, like Walter. You've heard those memes about Walter White? Walter? Walter, yeah. Where I'm from? Uh huh. Uh, the GameStop in my area, the guy that works there, the manager, his name is Walter White. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's way more impressive than my name oh, being Walter. You got, you got any secret video games? That, for that poor guy, he probably gets it all yeah. the time. Oh, yeah. Can I play the piano? Yeah, sure. Sweet, awesome. I have to get it. Thanks, Walter. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. <sighs> now we can pretend to be friends and speak words and eat food. That's cool, man. I'm, I'm not gonna try to make you like have to sit down. <laughs> I mean, I know. I'm making a joke. It was a while back. I think you were kind of playing around with like a more serious format with like. Is any of that still floating around or? I believe you're referring to life right now. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, and I, this is going to show like if I'm a bad fan because I don't keep up. You're, no. I put one out yesterday. The fact <laughs> that you know about it okay. says more than most because I, I made, I think, five of them. Yeah, they were which really is, cool, man. Well, I'm glad you like them because I'm surprised how much people seem to like them. But as you probably know, the idea was having a camera in my head and just live my day, yeah. make a video out of that, which on one hand is 
I guess genuine. The other, on the other hand, it's pretty lazy. <laughs> I mean, wearing this and editing it is, is work, but... I was going to say, there's nothing lazy about editing. Yeah, you, you, yeah. My problem with it and why I stopped doing them is because I live a very boring life, and after the five mostly eventful videos, they would have all ended up looking exactly the same, and I knew it, so I was like, I'm just not going to do it. That's cool. I mean, I could be, I guess, convinced otherwise, because I'm surprised so many people, because they haven't been up in like over a year, and I still get asked, where's life right now? Yeah, I didn't want to. I, I didn't want an incomplete series or something. I didn't want. Like, when this last one was uploaded two years ago, where are they? Well, I wasn't planning to make one. So how's the elk? Oh, it's it's spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely some jalapeno or something in there. But it's, it's that excellent. looks really good. Yeah. I'm not one to show off my food, but it looks like the reputation. So good to see that fat rain. It's so sunny. Let me, go, let me walk out there so the camera can see really quick. Yeah, sure. It's just you, you can't see on camera. See, that doesn't look so bad. That's kind of a lot of rain. You can see up in the sun, you probably can't, but you can just see like the clouding and my bike getting trashed. That means my shoes are soaked. <laughs> no, that's fine. I just worried about the dog out in the car. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go get to your dog. What's your dog's name, by the way? Uh, Captain Hiltz. Captain Hiltz? Captain Hiltz. All right, well, thank you for coming. Yeah, dude. It's, it's good nice to meet you and, and hang out with you. Yeah, man. Uh, hope the rest of the ride goes well. And Thanks. I guess you'll find out, and yeah. you'll be in the video, too. Oh, oh shoot. I know it's on the bike, but do you want a spam card? Oh, sure. Yeah, like, almost that's the talking about. Gotta, gotta that's get cool. you that. How are things? Woo. Freshly that's washed. Awesome. Holy smokes. They didn't come quite for nothing, just almost nothing. This is legit, man. When did they go, or have they always when did they? Do, when did they do when that? When did they go metal? Um, for a couple years now, I think. Still have some, so I That's just give them out cool. and still have some. Well, I'm glad you like it. Thanks, man. Again, I didn't show them this bag, but it means a lot. Thanks. Thank you for coming. Hey, just keep on with the videos and keep sharing the happiness, man. It's good Thank stuff. you. Yeah. Have a good ride home. You too. Hopefully I'll see you some other time. Ooh, look at those. There's so many of them. Look at all those matching X3s. Parts of here I never get to see. Ugh. And there goes my shoe. That tells me I need a better mechanism for storing my shoes basically here okay now it literally can't go anywhere these fancy ass places to sleep hello hey there's the RS1 I gotta see it the memories the baby. Oh, don't get mad for driving over here. What's oh, gravelly? That's gravelly. Look at those tires are worn. Yep. For those that don't know, I rented this very machine five years ago. Fell in love with it. Went home, bought one, found out there's nowhere I could legally ride it, and then sold it. It's a short-lived dream, but I love that thing. I almost rented it for this trip. I decided with all the logistics, it wasn't going to work. But just seeing it... Oh, I should touch it. It's not enough to see it. I gotta touch it. Don't fall down. Don't fall down and don't break something. Touch the butt. Yes. I love that thing. Hello. Ooh. Well, that's a road. I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna do it. It's an interesting truck. Is it Chinese? I've never seen it before. KLX. Hello. Wow, I don't think I can park in that dip. Head in parking only. Well, if I park there, I'll be stuck. 
Uh, I can't park here. We saw, dude. Yeah, I gotta park like this because otherwise I'll be stuck. That's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the leather store really quick. Hello. Is there another leather store in town? Okay, so this is the right one. My friend came here years ago and he said, you have to visit when you go by. So here I am. He got a cowboy hat and a jacket, which I would never wear, but I kind of feel greedy and materialistic like I should buy a, what's it called, a token, memento, what's the word? Do you travel through somewhere? Yeah, memento. Is that what it's called? A trinket? I don't think it's the right word anyway. What a cool freaking coat. Holy crap, that is so cool. Tell me it's 20 bucks and I'll get it. It is not 20 bucks, it's 10 times 20. Had an idea. I don't need anything, but my friend would be surprised if I brought him back something. How much are these huge ostentatious leather wallets? Man, what's my friendship worth? Um, I think he would like it. He likes cowboy, he liked that one. I'll get this. You got the more expensive one. <sighs> I, I can't I can't change my mind now. It's for my friend <laughs> Alrighty, have a good day. Thank you. You are gonna go in here since there's room And I guess aside from the fact that there are literally people right next to this thing what I'm saying now is a good enough time to Shout out today's sponsor. So because I'm going in the mountains and I wanted as light a load as possible on this tiny bike this big hunk of metal notwithstanding i wanted some low saddlebag type luggage i do have a really handsome fancy expensive aluminum top case that goes under this mount i put on but i wasn't going to ride with what is it seven liters it's pretty big it's like this tall and this wide i wasn't going to have that in the back when i was going off road so i was looking for saddlebags and i liked the giant loop mojaves and i was about to buy some and before i bought them i thought Maybe it's worth asking Giant Loop if they just want to give me some and I asked and they were like, yeah We just want to give you some so Giant Loop. Thank you very much for giving what I wanted They gave me these and because I was being greedy and I did want this they gave me this too So this is the tank bag for like for dirt bikes and this is the Mojave saddle bag Which is also like for dirt bikes I'm gonna point out some of the features because well I got familiar with it I kind of want you to know if you can see it, but it's got a strap buckle loop and then it's also got the universal fit parts so here under my net you can see where it clips under the fairing and of course they tie down on the front so there's also optional tie downs here for straps if you wanted to but there you go this side here is full of all the stuff that i insisted on having when i went in the mounts which is just basically tire stuff so like a tool kit uh tire patch kit pump knife zip ties tape all that kind of like repair get the bike working kind of stuff and this side is just like for me stuff so there's like first aid kit all kinds of medicines and water so there's also a little bit of extra room which i just used to put the phone in that's the side for me and the tank bag here i think looks really handsome on my bike because i had a tank bag before and i really liked it but it was like this big and it would either run into the fork stem or run into me so that's why i had this one and i was lucky enough to get this one too this is a place for your phone but i cut out a piece of foam and put it in there so i have my music remote and then it's full of camera stuff so for gopros and my phone if i want to switch cameras like from off of my helmet onto my head man that's that and as you probably saw i don't know if i edited it or not these are my crocs just so i can take my gear off and chill that charge pack i have to take with me wherever i go but yeah that's all that stuff thank you very much giant loop i appreciate you thank you for helping me out and giving me the stuff that i thought i needed for this trip and i'm gonna just keep on the bike at all times because it looks good and it gives me a bit more storage options now okay should I go back to camp or should I look around some more? It's sudden I should go back just because of the time. I got like 30 more minutes of light left. I'd like to be back before the sun goes down. So let's wrap today up. Huh. That's a fun coincidence. The Crocs back there with my back pouch full of my rain layer for my suit gives you a bit of cushion for leaning back. It doesn't matter. That's not really what you want on a dirt bike off-road kit. But hey, it's not really in my way. It gives you a little cushion. That's fine. Upstairs tavern. That looks good. Should I go there? I gotta at least look. This bike is harder to turn now that the handlebars were raised, but I can do it. I'm not gonna drink. I just wanna see it really quick. Tavern upstairs. 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's now o'clock.
place is cute as hell. Alrighty then. I think now I'm going back to camp. Uh, I just thought of something. I think it's on the way back to camp, but when I came here from the other campsite, I noticed I recognized a ramp that went to the cabin that I had stayed at five years ago. The cabin belonged to a friend of a friend of a friend. And we all stayed there and I was worked out really well. And I remember that ramp sucked because I had my Jeep and that little motorcycle trailer on the back. And getting up there was really hard because I had to back up the ramp. It's real stupid. Anyway, if I see that ramp, I gotta explore it really quick. Saw it. Saw it. Saw it. Okay, fine, I'll give it back. Saw it. Saw it. There's the ramp. That's definitely it. I recognize it from five years ago. A very scary ramp. Now, I don't know if there's anything up here besides that one cabin, but that one cabin that doesn't belong to, well, not me, means this might be a private drive. I don't think so, though. I think I can get away with it. I don't remember what's up here. I'll just have to follow my memory. Five-year-old memory. And I came up here, like, at night. That can't be it. It was worse than this. It was to the left, and it was up an even steeper thing than this so it's up here somewhere oh panoramic heights i thought i said paranormal heights i was like wow do people see ghosts up here and stuff that might be it that might be it mm, there's no way there's no way for me to know unless i literally checked everything that might be it i'll just look at that road really quick <laughs> oh it's fun until this thing starts wobbling <laughs> no there wasn't a cliff edge like this this isn't it either but where does it go it dead ends let's just follow it to the end Bunny! Is that a house or a cabin? It's a cabin. It's a couple cabins. Well, I'm not gonna go any closer than that. Because it ends right there. There's a lot of cabins around here. These must be really freaking expensive. Alright, I said this before, but I'll go ahead and say it again, even though I'm probably wrong at this point. Now I'm gonna head back to camp. Oh, that's a fancy house. Location-wise, anyway. In Ure, but just kind of out of the way of all the tourists. It's a pretty good little secret view of Ure. Kind of secret. I'm sure not a lot of people come up here. Anyway, the road was like this and then like that, but I think a bit steeper and longer. And then it's not that house. I know it's not, but it was kind of like that. And I did it at night in the Jeep and then I had to back up that. Just so dumb. I had to back up that. It sucked. I'll join the motorcycles on their fun quest. Alrighty. Now I'm one of the boys. I'm just cruising on the road. I'm a boy. I'm a real boy. Just cruising out here and waving the motorcycles makes me miss motorcycles. Or <laughs> makes me miss having a bike I can just ride on the road. My next trip, I think, will be a, a long ass moto vlog on the Super Duke. Huh, those two guys weren't together. Guess this guy's probably camping. I'm not gonna go. Yeah, he's got tent or firewood or something on the back. No, he's just pulling off. Okay. Oh, he's got a headset, lucky guy. I sure liked having a headset on my helmet before I got stolen. I wonder what he's trying to do exactly. Looks like he's trying to stop music or something. Nope. Yep. You okay? Yeah. Okay. My buddy went too far. Yeah, I was wondering, like, I thought they were together, but I guess not. Senna. But I think I lost him yeah, Senna's don't have very long range. Hopefully, he, hopefully he'll find you. Yeah. Uh, have a good night. Thank I mean, I guess I'll see you up here. Yeah, we're just at the KOA, so. Same. All uh, right, have a good night, man. Thanks. I love all these mini adventures on my regular route. That's all I wanted in life. Five miles an hour. That's the speed limit here. I'm trying to go slower and slower and slower and slower. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, it's a lot busier than it was when I took off. Now I can talk quietly and no one can hear me. I like that. There you go. Pickup tent. That's how it's done. That tent is huge, dude. Yeah, that's it for tonight. Um, we will resume this video from this spot tomorrow morning and we'll start the actual ride. Oof. Gato. Gato. <laughs> Muy bien.
close. You know what's really cool and smart and fun? Pitching a tent on gravel. Alrighty then. This is for. I have a freaking table here. You know what? I'm also gonna zip up. Yep. Headphones. They're not here. Meow, meow, meow. The weather would be perfect if it wasn't just raining. It, like, that's perfect, but this weekend I'm just gonna get screwed. Oh man, look at that. Oh boy, here we go, into the wilderness. Hopefully I come back. Ah. <laughs> What's up, dude? I got plugs in, so it's kind of hard to hear, but I heard you make a joke about rescuing me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I said, uh, I'm talking to my son. I said, I'm gonna tell him a picture of your bike. Send a picture, because this dude's fixing to go on the uh, trail. Uh-huh. Electric bike, I said, and I'm gonna go rescue him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. If you get a message from me, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> I'm honestly more worried about the range, but that's the whole reason I'm here is to get this thing in the mountains and say I did it. So I'm looking forward to today. Yeah, it, it, it'll work. I mean, it, it's I mean, that's a cool idea. It's a fun idea. I don't know if it's gonna work though. Holler at me because I'll be in town. I'll have that bike carrier. I can get up in my Jeep and poop if you run out. I'm definitely keeping you in mind. <laughs> Serious about it. I know you are. That's I appreciate it. All right, I'll see ya. Alrighty, Ooh, here we go. Alrighty, good morning, internet. Welcome to real life. Today is the day. The guy you saw there, his name is Tommy. Last night when I got back to camp, it wasn't quite dark enough. I wasn't quite tired enough. I wasn't quite enough ready for bed. So I was like, I'm gonna ride around the campground, and explore a little bit. Granted, it was dark, but it was still fun. I try, kind of got familiar with it. And there was a guy out he asked me about my bike and we chatted for a bit and he was too great she's just like hey if you do get stuck out there i'm literally just hanging out here and i like rescuing people so if you need me here's my number and i'll come get you which is crazy even just the gesture and all that is like thank you i was happy to see him again this morning when i did by coincidence so that you guys could see him too but and while i'd be happy to see him again i don't want to see him under the circumstances that i am a burden to somebody need help but anyway just chilling out like a goober right now Whew, it's chilly it's not too bad it's just a little cold i'm really glad i got my thought to bring my wet layer and if it rains i shouldn't get too soaked my uh, neck gaiter and my pants are a little damp still I, i'm surprised that even though it was low humidity my stuff didn't dry out as much as i thought it would overnight i'm, I'm mostly dry oh i didn't zip my my arms up so i'm a little cold so it's all the zippers except those there we go welcome to your ray the magical little town i wonder how many i mean i i'm sure i'm sure there are many but I wonder how many other magical mountain towns there are in the U.S. I just don't know about, never been to. I'd love to explore. When I rode the GSA last year to Colorado, I went to Mount Evans and I did a back loop through the mountain area west of the mountains, I don't know, west of Pikes Peak. And I came across a small town. I mentioned it when I, uh, in one of my long ass moto vlogs, I talked about that trip. I didn't actually like make a video of that trip, but I came across some small mountain town. I can't remember what it was called. I want to say Silvertip, that's obviously not correct because I was going to go there today, but now I can't. But just hidden little gem towns, freaking love it. I love exploring and finding stuff. I think I said I took the RS1 up by Imogene, but that's not correct. I took the RS1 on some path into Telluride. I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't Imogene. Then it came out another way. So at least this half between Uri and Imogene, I've done in the Jeep. The other half, I don't think I've done at all. And I'll go ahead and say it now. Last night when I was riding around the campsite too, I saw a banner that said, Free s'mores every Saturday night. 
8 p.m. And I was like, are you joking my ass? And so I asked them. And they went, yes, it is true. The legends are true. I said, I read the inscription. They said, tomorrow night, which is tonight, 8 p.m., around the corner there, free s'mores. I was like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I want. So that's really funny because I had the hankering for s'mores before I came out here. I went to the store just to kill time, saw some more materials. Like, oh, I don't have a way to cook the s'mores. And now it looks like I might actually have the perfect ending to my little trip. However, most likely it's going to rain a lot. And then I, I don't know. I might be absolutely miserable because I may not have a way to stay dry. Maybe sleeping wet. I don't know. The s'more thing might just be canceled entirely. That would suck. Saw dudes. <laughs> I should, sometimes I forget how silly I look. <laughs> I'm on this little goober bike sitting in my goober position. Is that an RS1? It's small. What is it? It can't be an RS1. It's not. It's a two-seater, but very similar. It is hilarious how using Crocs as a backrest is working out. It's way better than sitting against just the box, that's for sure. It's not horribly comfortable, but it's more comfortable. I think it's just funny how it's working out. <laughs> A little bit of love from those guys, not much, but okay. So last night when I came into town, I went up there to the campsite, but I guess the pass is this way. Is this correct? It's gotta be correct. I'm just gonna assume it's the correct path. Sometimes like if you're going off road or whatever, ways or maps don't know that you wanna take an unpaved path so it'll navigate you around. But based on how long it's supposed to take and the short mileage, this has gotta be right. It says 40 miles, or sorry, 10 miles and 40 minutes. So this is probably it. Uh, bumpy shits. A designated slow and quiet zone. Hey, I'm both of those things. When I came up before on the Jeep, I made a video of that. But I drove past some people like this who were just walking. And as soon as I got up there, they showed up after I passed them. So they, they basically were faster, if not as, as fast as I was by walking versus my huge vehicle. And I felt so stupid. I was like, geez, there's some crazy freaks of nature out here. Whoa! Please, dear, ask God, say that's wrong. I've driven six miles, it's down to 66%. I'm, based on my experience, that percentage reading is wrong and I'm going to make it. I, the best thing I can do, really, is just not look at it and assume I'm going to make it. Because if I'm not going to make it, well, I'm not going to make it. I'm just gonna get stuck, so screw it. I just need to act like I'm gonna make it. I need to stop looking at that, it's giving me anxiety. Yeah, unfortunately, it's probably gonna be pretty cloudy today. I would've liked it if it were sunny, but the rain having come down, I guess, at least is keeping this rock and dust sticking to the ground so dust isn't coming up, so that's something, I guess. Ooh. Oh! Stand up for that, that's, that's annoying. I want to conserve energy and sit down as much as possible. Because I don't really want to be standing for four hours on the bike today. But I guess, you know, whatever I can. Those guys, they look like they're from out of town. But they also look like they're well equipped. Might ask them for cheat codes. How do you do, fellow kids? Are you familiar with the area? Somewhat. Are you familiar with the area? Somewhat. Somewhat, sorry. Um... I'm trying to get to Imogene Pass and down into Telluride. Okay. So, can I get there this way? You can get to Imogene Pass. I've never been from Imogene Pass to Telluride. I wasn't sure if there was a different pass like Yankee Boy that gets to Imogene that I missed because I'm on Camp Bird right now, I guess. Yep, you're on Camp Bird. I didn't know if Yankee Boy also made it. It's marked pretty well up here. Alrighty, thank you, sir. Yeah. Appreciate you. Have a good day. Yeah. Just the right amount of lost for the right amount of adventure. Ooh, that looks crazy. That looks crazy. What a cute little campground. It'd be awesome to ride up here with your motorcycle and a tent on the back and get up in the camp there. That'd be awesome. Oh, I'm getting tired. Ooh. See, that deer's got four-wheel drive. He went straight up. Holy crap, that's nauseating. I was thinking he was going to go up that little rock path, which is steep, but he went up to the hill next to it, which is, which is even more steep. <laughs> this is not that bad. Switch back with dust, but thankfully for the rain, pack that down a little bit. And baby switch back. Yeah, just taking my time. There's a cat coming. So he's got the right of way? Yes, he's got the right of way. Car's going down the right of way because when the gravity's pulling them, they can't stop. Which sucks when you're like in your big rig going uphill and then there's a car coming down. You either have to, if you can't get out of the way, like if you can't pull up to the side as you're coming up, you, ha you literally have to back down the hill 
backwards and that's like oh no it could be scary but those are the rules the rules basically oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to check really quick my crocs are still there Yep, okay, whoop, sliding back down. I guess I'll go ahead and say this too, and if I decide I don't want to say it, I'll just cut it out of the video. But I guess I want to put chubby buttons on blast, but this is a remote that I bought with my money because I like it, and ironically, apparently someone made it known to me that they are using my video or videos to sell their products. Like, this is a guy riding motorcycle without our chubby buttons. This is before I bought them. Coincidentally, ironically, you should buy our product. So that's really cool, that's heavy sarcasm, that they're using my stuff without my permission to sell their product that I paid for. I wasn't planning to do anything about it. Stuff gets stolen, that's life, I know that. But those are some facts for you if you care. I like the product, but on principle maybe I shouldn't if they're stealing stuff from me and I'm buying stuff from them. Welcome to Imogene and Yankee Boy Basins. That doesn't really help me actually. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not what the map says. No, it's too long. It goes the same place, but it takes too long. I don't know if I'm gonna make have the range, so I'm gonna go this way. Wow, I don't recognize this, but maybe I've been here. Alrighty. Now we're on a single little lane. Here we go. I if I haven't put a disclaimer, I apologize for the heavy breathing you're going to hear. It's inevitable, unavoidable. Oof, here we go. That's the stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, sun's coming out. Oh boy, look at this. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this is probably a tiny bit faster than a Jeep. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to fall. <laughs> Steady as she goes. <sighs> I'm happy that there's no one else out here so far. But that was the whole point of coming here on Labor Day weekend was so that it would be busy so that if something bad did happen to me since I'm on my own, someone would be coming by. So if no one comes around and nothing bad happens, that'd be optimal. But... Also, seeing people is part of the fun. Oh, I want to touch that, but how badly do I want to touch it? Badly enough. Oh, that was nothing. I need to touch more of that. Uh-oh, raindrop. <laughs> I don't want to be in the rain on top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere on my little electric motorcycle. <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that's some chunky business right there. That's some chunky business, okay. Just take my time. Huge little, huge little rocks. <sighs> Give that suspension a workout. Give me a workout. Please, oh, that's so much rain. It's coming. in here. This looks a little better. Oh god, I'm slipping so much. Come on. Uh, uh, just gotta get to that turn. I can't. Over here. Can't find purchase. Woo! Okay, mid-hill break. There's a chance. Oh, here comes the I can't even hit the brakes on this thing and stay. <sighs> Rain's coming down. Okay. Shades are coming off. And they'll have to, because they're going to fog up too much and get wet, I have to use this now to 
keep the rain out of my face. At least, at least this visor has an anti-fog pin lock, so it won't fog up. It's just rain blocking my vision now. Slippy dippy. Let's go on a trippy. All the comments, why don't you just stand up? Why don't you just ride good? Why are you breathing so heavily? Why are you so slow? Why do you suck? I discovered something. All the experts and professionals and experienced people, they're waiting in the YouTube comments. They're there for you, they're there to help you. If you wanna know anything about anything, just read the YouTube comments. That's where they all are. Anyone with a PhD and a resume goes to YouTube, actually. That's where they spend most of their time. Like, what else would they be doing? Don't wanna to touch it? I, don't, I think it scares me a little bit. But it's smooth, but is it slippery? No, it's not slippery. Nice. You can camp here? Maybe he's just here for the day. Maybe that's not against the rules. I'm pretty darn sure he can't be up here after dark. Uh oh. <laughs> Do I dial? I hope he's going through it. I doubt it. That'd be cool. Dude, if this bike slips and falls over there, I'm screwed. Yes, I was going to say, I hope he does it so I can watch. Watch him do it. That is about, oh, six inches deep. But let's see if there's another option. I don't think there is. There's that right there. Uh, I still get in the water. Looks like I'm going to have to do it, but let me just check. That is a motorcycle path that's a little bit shorter. I think I'll take that. That'll let me cut off. Yeah, that's actually really nice. I can get in the shallow part. Uh, I see my line. We're good. This is easy. Don't want to put my boots down in that. Don't want to get my feet soaked. Easy. Thank you for that little cheat code. I'm glad I looked. That Jeep is loaded. Hello there. What's your bet that Jeep's going to catch up and pass me? I bet he'll pass. I don't know. I think I'm going just, just, just faster than Jeeps with the exception of me stopping. I stop like every 10 minutes for a one minute break. That's helpful. Whoa, whoa. Don't like that. Come on now. Oh. Dirt bikes with proper riders and proper tires can just rub, 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 just go up here. I have neither of those things. Rain's getting in my face. I like having my visor open so I can get oxygen, but Whoa. I need to be able to see too. Where in the hell is this, this? The arrow goes that way, but the map goes that way. Well, just go this way. It's like three different passes. Little pass, little river, and a little bridge. Well, okay, I'm a gene pass, what the map says. I'd like more dirt like like this. This stuff is preferable, thank you. But most of it's all this loose rock. Is that the mountain way up there? You're telling me that's, th whoa, can't steer and look where I'm not going apparently. That's three miles away? It looks further than that, but I guess that checks out. Let's see what he does. He has the right away anyway. Wow, he's got a, Big approach angle. If he wasn't here, I would go over there, but I'm guessing that's what he wants. If that's what he wants, I either have to wait or take the shelf. He's going down there. Okay, I'm taking the shelf. Oof. 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 The thing is a bitch to steer. Whoop. Whoop. Alrighty. Ain't no thing. Now I'm gonna get over here again. Whoa, I don't like that. Whoa, don't like that either. Whoa, <laughs> it's a little deeper than I thought. Wow, the battery's temperature is really high. That means it's working hard, that's not good. I thought I'd be fine, because I'm not going fast. I mean, I am I, admittedly using a lot of torque, apparently, to get up here, but I'm not going fast, and it's not hot out. So that's not a good sign. The battery temperature is still climbing. I may actually work this bike to the point where it overheats and has to cool down. We'll see. All right, little brake here. Yeah, I'd say I got up halfway. It's annoying when you get on the brakes, it just starts sliding back. It doesn't look very steep, and it isn't really, but I guess it's just steep and loose enough that it starts to slip. Uh, it starts to act like a ball of soap and gives you the slip. That blue Jeep, I don't know if you can see it directly in front of me. I don't recognize it. Where did it come from? So I'm averaging between 5 and 10 miles an hour up here. I wonder how that relates to a Jeep. Maybe it is Jeep speed. I don't know. I think I'm just technically a tad bit faster. I am not a proper motorcycle rider. I'm a goober motorcycle rider. Hey, a guy on feet. He's using two-wheel walk drive. Hello. Crazy guy. Alright, I'm gonna get over on the shale up here and let him pass. 
as I can. Or I guess maybe the right term is scree. Shale is a type of rock, or you know, like a genealogical type of rock. <laughs> the right term is minerals, Marie. But this loose stuff, I think it's called scree. Whew. Saw, dude. Okay, what's happening is I'm propping myself up with my feet. Oh, I can't hit the brakes here, I guess. <laughs> I can't stop. Propping myself up off the bike with my feet. When that happens, the weight comes off the bike, and then the rear tire can't get traction. And I just start slipping. I'm basically... What do you call that? Training wheeling it. I have my feet just hanging off the side to catch myself right now. I think I know what this place is. I think this is where I saw a muskrat and mistook it for a beaver. I gotta I got check it out. I bet. I parked like right there, I think, if this is it. I'll recognize it. Yep. If it ain't it, it looks exactly like it. Oh, no, no, you're not in my way at all. I'm just looking. Yeah, I'm actually trying to remember if I've been here before. This spot? This spot. Uh, do you know if there's more than way up by Imogene from your race side? There is on your side, yes. Okay, then I don't know if I came up this way before. Is there only one way up from Telluride? Because I'm going to go down to the Telluride. Okay, cool. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> if if the bike doesn't kill you, I will. That kind of thing. All right, have a good day, dude. Thanks. Oh, downhill, lovely. And we're back up again. Anyway, I'm gonna bet that I have been up this part on your race side up up, up by Majin because this looks really familiar. Oh man, the bike temperatures 239, 242. My experience is it's, I want to call it melting point. It's the overheating point. I'm almost there. I'm using a lot of torque to get up this. Now, if I had a girlfriend, yoink. Wait, I don't have a girlfriend. I can still take, I could still, I could take flowers for me. What the hell am I talking about? I can get flowers. This isn't a good place to stop though. You know, no one's going to come flying around that corner. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Get somewhere where you're not going to fall, please. <laughs> This is a little suboptimal, but I think it'll stay. Yeah, I think it'll stay. How far am I? Just over a mile from the top. I gotta keep going. Whew. There's that green Jeep. I mean, he stopped. And I don't know how many times the Jeeps have stopped, but I'm totally beating him. Okay. Well, I could take the whole thing, but that seems kind of selfish. I'll just take one. This one. <sighs> Oh, there's two of them. No. This ugly mamma jamma. Just like me. Cute. I'd like to stick this on my helmet, you know, like as if it was in my hair, you know, and just do this, but I don't think I can do that. I think it'll fall out. Yeah. Whoa, don't slip, bike. You stay right here. You stay right here. Okay. It's shitty, but. <laughs> At least I stopped to smell the flowers. Oh, you know what? I should unzip. Platonically. <laughs> Next stop, I'll unzip. All right. This won't help a lot, but it'll help some. I'll take it. I got zippers on me back I can't reach, so I'll have to ask the next person I see to unzip me. In a sex way. In a sex way. Okay, I gotta get out of this way. Let's see. Right over here is probably what he wants me to be. Go. Oh, come on, brakes. You can work. Do it. Those are 40s on a JL, and he's got an exhaust on there. Avoid that big rock, bro. There you go. It's got to be a six and a half inch lift. Saw, dude. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, I was like, he's going to lose traction any second now. Come on. It's just steep and slippery enough. I was like, I'm not going to make it. Whoa! Where the hell can't I turn? Go, 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 go. Oh shit, I'm falling. Uh, right here. Not that guy! Stop, stop, stop. Oof! 
I tried to hold on and by holding on I kept the throttle on okay just a break or just a minute for a break this is gonna be tough there it is okay thank you big rock it's holding my bike in place come on now Stay over here on the throttle to keep it in place. I want to get a look at the bike, but I can't really park it because it wants to fall over because it's too steep, but it looks fine. My puck ate some. This ate some. Mile from the top. Ah, come on. I'll have to go extra slow, I guess. This is really slipping. Come on. Oh, no. Don't slip now, dude. This stuff is a little better up here. It's more hard pack. I can kind of get about 10 miles an hour. This is nice. Oh, I got to get a line here. Get a line. Get a line. Get a line. Oh, that's too steep. They're both too steep. Okay, well, I got to commit now. I'm here. Over here. This will help. There we go. Straight up. Nice and slow. Ain't no thing. Oh, is the bike overheating? Whoa, it's overheated. Not a good place to overheat and get stuck. 296. I've never seen it that high before. Wow, I about killed this bike. Wow. Okay, I guess I gotta take a break here. At least I won't be in anyone's way here. That sucks. 0.4 miles from the top. Um, so close. It's like basically there i'm so close 300 degrees that was insane but yeah that was really steep the torque is up like all the way it has to work as hard as it can to get up here oh that's not what i want to do damn it come on and it's overheating <laughs> okay pull up a ray here or i'm well out of the way Wow, what a struggle. What a struggle to get this bike just to the top. Oh, it must be a touring Jeep because there's people up high. There's like 37s and a four inch lift kit. That's cool, that seating position. The guy who's driving that must have done this trip so many times. So this isn't a problem going at level, but going such a steep incline with the bike and me together, we're, what are we? Over 500 pounds. This bike is small. See, that's fun. A little around stuff, but climbing and oh, descending is gonna be a, a tough bear. So I didn't have a map. Ooh, I wouldn't know which way to go. I would, I would have guessed left. I would not have guessed this way. Oh, we're so close. Holy tits. <laughs> well, I mean, sh I'm, I'm almost at the quarter way point. I'm not even, not even halfway. See, spike is faster. As long as I'm not going up a hill and catch up to people. Is this it? I don't reckon. What the, what the heck? I don't reckon it. Oh yeah. No. Yes, this is it. That legendary little shack hut thing. What does that sign say? I think Telluride's that way. But I need to read the sign to see what it says. Ooh, that's scary. Then come license driver Thunder Mountain Wheelers. It doesn't say. Maybe uh what little internet I have can tell me where the stupid ass trail is. I, I just don't know. I'm just gonna park. Turn the bike off, let it cool. I'm gonna take a break too. All right, 10 minutes of just standing here. Feel better? That blue Jeep came up, turned around. As he went back, I asked him, because I know he knows where he's going. He goes, that way, to the right. I was like, oh, it is that way, even though it doesn't say Telluride on those signs there. But okay, that's the way to go. And I heard a razor, as I could hear it before I came up. I, like, I hear something. That's a razor. It's a four-seater razor coming up. I'll tell you what. If that was it for my mountain pass off-roading on this bike for my trip, I wouldn't be disappointed. That was sufficiently difficult enough for me. However, it's actually not sufficient because I have to get back down. 
I'm going to go that way. And I know I've never been on this path before. Jeez, look how steep that is. But when I get to the bottom, when I'm stopped and charging, eating lunch, I'll look at the maps. And most likely, I'll come right back this way. But if there is another way to go back, I'll take a different way. And those rain clouds, the ones that you can see, are literally coming right this way. And there's more to come. So I don't know what's going to happen. Right, just enough mystery. But let's take on this. Let's get this done. But I'm going to wrap this back up. I got my water out and sunscreen for my little bitty nose. And then I forgot that when you change altitude, the pressure in the bottle changes. So I open the water and it just jizzed on my face. Cold shower. <laughs> That's the way. Bike is down to 100 degrees. That cooled off. That cooled off in 10 minutes. It was really cold up here. That green Jeep, do I get in front? Yeah, I'm gonna get in front. Because, two reasons. One, I'm guessing I'm gonna be faster. And two, if I crash, and he'll be there to help. <laughs> I say that'd be so funny. If I crash, I just ate it. And he just slowly rolls on by. <laughs> I wanna look to my right and see all that, but that's a bad idea when I'm, when I'm moving. I need to stop for that. I can stop right here, that's okay. Whoa, just a tiny bit dizzy for a quarter second. Anyway, okay, cool. I think going downhill is physically easier, but, ooh, it's more dangerous, that's for sure, like, cause that, okay. I'm gonna go damn slow right now, damn slow. This is actually pretty steep. I'm on the brakes pretty hard and I'm one footing it because I'm just slipping. I'm just slipping. I don't like this. Uh-uh. If it was just dirt, I'd feel better, but it's this slippery rock crap that I can't break in. <sighs> For the way down, I'll have to stand like this and then slide my rear tire. The problem is this bike still has ABS. Right now I'm trying to slide the tire and go down, but it <laughs> and that that's gonna knock me out. <sighs> I'm so annoyed you can't turn ABS off. Whoa, what is that? That's snow, isn't it? Wow, just brown, dirty snow. That's crazy. Standing up helps a lot, but I'm tired. Well, that's not gonna, that's not gonna make it. Get up here, Oof. roll. Let that bump catch you and stand up. Oh, nice. Whoa, 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 <laughs> speeding up so fast. The, it's steeper than I think it is because when I think it's flat, like right now, I think it's flat. It's not flat. I'm still going downhill and it just whoop, speeds up if I get off the brakes. So I was like, okay. Saw it. Slow down a bit since I don't know what's coming up. Oh, slipping already. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Okay, I guess I can't stop the bike. Let's we'll keep going. Brakes aren't working very well. I can't slow down. Okay then. I'm basically using all the brakes I can until this thing just starts sliding and then I can't control it because the ABS is still on and I can't just drift with it. Not that I could drift well anyway. Or drift is not the right word. Slide. At least here, if I did crash, the bike wouldn't just go flying off the cl cliff. I hate those rocks. Can't. Okay, stop here, right? <sighs> Altitude is not optimal. Bike is not optimal. Body fat percentage is not optimal. Skill level, not optimal. It's so damn quiet. I hear a little wind noise somewhere. I like it. I like it. In fact, I like that patch of grass. I'm gonna go touch it. Well, something turned off. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I saw that rock too late. <laughs> Those are some sharp rocks. Okay. Whew. Oh, rock is right in the way. What's under the rock? Another rock. <laughs> this is my favorite spot of the whole trip so far. I'm mostly in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's somebody. There's mostly nobody here. I like it. Here, motorcycle. Yeah, I haven't seen any motorcycles out here. So. My bag with my electronics in it. I buried my little SD card card here on the bottom. Well, that's something I want to not lose. And there it goes rolling away. What is that? Those are skis. Dude, that's awesome. Look how fast he's going. Look how fast he's going. He doesn't have time for my petty stuff. He's going like 17 miles an hour right now. 15. 
I could barely go two up that. He's he's gonna get home fast. Okay. My little cute micro SD card holder. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. I got oddly shaped things. I got my stick for my phone camera case. That's this metal case here for my phone if I want to use it as a camera if I need to. Headband, music, battery packs, one for my helmet, one for my head strap. And then down here escaping are my wee little old AirPods that I love. I love them almost as much as I loved having prescription shades. I use them like every day. That's the Razor. Yeah, I think my riding this little bike and my super slow speed can be equated to like someone on a moped. So a proper motorcycle goes by, sees this little moped tarred me over here and goes, ah, I don't want to associate with him. I'm not going to go over there. Understandable. This turned out to be a good place to pull over and do this because I'm out of everyone's way. This is the most people I've seen in one place out here. I'd love to get a swig of water right now, but I have a hydration pack and I have to take my helmet off to get to it. I don't think it's worth it. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. I should just get some water. Why be thirsty? No point. Yeah, I looked and I don't even think that my fall managed to hit this bag. If it did, I can't see any scuffs, so I'm happy about that. That's not a motorcycle. Those motorcycles just going up like it's no problem makes me feel like a foolish fool. Oof. Ugh. Okay, how exactly? I'll go left. I'll loop left. Watch out for these stupid evil rocks, though. Woo! I'm tired. Wait, where's the fourth one? Wasn't there a fourth one? I guess not. I don't want to go then. <laughs> the incline doesn't bother me at all. That's kind of fun. What sucks is the slipperiness. It sucks ass. Whoa, look at that. What is that? Oh, it just falls apart. That flower was so interesting, it made me stop. Well, it's flatter here, but it's way more slippery. I'm not sure I would choose that. Look at this bike, gaining power, cooling down. That's how a bike should work. All right, I'm just gonna cheat here. Oh, wow, apparently I'm going downhill because I'm, I'm not even on the throttle. It's just rolling by itself this quickly. What the hell, dude? What the, what the hell? I'm not going downhill, am I? Doesn't look like I'm going downhill, but it's just rolling on by itself. Oh, that's definitely downhill. So where am I gonna stop? Uh, up here for this guy. Even though I have the right of way, it's easier for me to get out of the way, so. Okay, where do I go? Both look like ass. I guess I'll take the seemingly more direct route. The Crocs are in my butthole right now. Oh, that's bad. I don't see a way this thing's not gonna bottom out. I think this can make it. It's just gonna be really, really hard. This is the steepest, worst thing I've seen. Oh, 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 oh. oh I almost came off the front end. These Crocs are coming up my butthole. They were flipped up like this, but then they started to migrate vertically or horizontally wanting to go into my butt. So hopefully we'll stay there now. I was gonna say the way down seems longer, but it's probably just because I'm more tired by the time I start going down, so it's harder. That's pretty steep too. Don't fall, please. That's slippery as hell. It's like someone's got my bike on a rope and just pulling it and it's going more than I want it to like I can't stop enough or slow down enough because just start sliding and I don't really have any control when I slide on these rocks I got really confident got really comfortable I should say it doesn't mean I was any good but really comfortable on the GS going downhill on dirt like that was okay because then you can lock the rear and slide it and you got just enough control but I don't think I really have any control on this bike I guess I'm staying over here I don't like any of these options I don't like any of them I'll stay here in the middle at least that way if the bike falls over it's not going to go anywhere Or left, whatever. The other left. Boop. I am going so goddamn slow. This is painfully slow. There's not a motorcycle. 
there it goes ABS can't so what happens is the rear slide or I want to lock the rear so it starts sliding and I can get a controlled descent more or less and then it like taps the brakes as I'm coming down which defeats the whole purpose and then I'll just go to the left or the right and start sliding the wrong way and I can't control it I hate that I'll let him get up here first uh oh oh I'm good you can come up if you want yeah he's slipping but at least he's not gonna fall <laughs> at least the truck isn't just gonna go and fall He might need a bit more room to swing, but I can't really back up here. Just get him as much room as possible so he can swing. There you go, that's a little bit more room. They got a dog. All right, here we go, back to it. Um, it's downhill. Oh no. I don't like any of what I'm seeing. I don't like it at all. <sighs> Holy tits, look at this. This looks like absolute ass. Hello there. No, no, no English. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> what country are you from? Uh, from? Yeah, Italy. Are you from here? Okay. <laughs> well, nice, nice to meet you. Have a good day. Italy? That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? That's a lovely accent you have. New Jersey? I don't really have a plan for getting down here. And that's what happens when I have a plan. I just start slipping. I'm going to go ahead and risk jinxing it for the sake of saying it for the video. I hope this is it for the rocks. It kind of looks like past the water up there where it turns left that it just goes back to dirt. I'm like, please, Lord, let it be dirt again. Water is fun, but God damn it, this is slippery enough. I don't need more slip if I can help it. Thank you very much. That's a marmot. It's like a mini beaver of the mountains. It's not a beaver at all, it just looks like one to me. Follow that beaver. Follow that beaver. See, this dirt stuff is awesome. This is fun. There he is. He can't even hear me, he can't see me either. I am one with nature. Okay, he's got a hole. Ooh, is that, is that dirt? Was I right? Is it dirt up here? Please, loud. Please, loud, give me some dirt. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. This is lovely. I mean, it's not as dirty as I want, but this is lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so much better. Thank goodness, we're moving now. Okay. Hmm. This would be a dumb place to get stuck, but be dumb not to go through That just looks like straight up mud. That's what it looks like. It looks like straight up mud. You can see it swirling in the middle. Let's see if I can find out how deep it is without touching it because I want to touch it, but I don't want to get stuck here. Is this a buried root? It's got to be. Yeah. Well, this one isn't. What is this? That's not a root. Ew, it's a pipe. All right. Whirlpool of death. Watch very closely. That's nothing. Okay. That's nothing. Depth wise, at least. I thought it was going to be like a foot deep. That was like, I don't think, it's, I don't think it was even six inches deep. <sighs> Oh, that was nothing. Okay. Glad I checked, though. That one's clear. I can see the bottom of that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I? Uh-oh. I don't think I went the right way. I, I must have missed it. Because that goes up the mountain. And the map is showing me a path to my left. Oh, come on. You can make it. You can make it. You like it. Okay, so I did miss it. I started coming this way, but I was supposed to go. Okay. Well, I trust you a bit more than I trust Waze for off-road, so we'll use you. You would not want to get lost out here on this bike. Like, oh, I guess I went up some mountain somewhere and <laughs> the power I got stranded. Okay, it's this way. Yeah, I saw the dirt and got too excited. See, this isn't bad. This is okay. That's a moto, dude. Two moto. Three moto bros. Yay! <laughs> I'm in a hurry to get down there, and I just... <laughs> wipe out oh no 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 not more of this crap <laughs> i don't wanna Ooh, i don't know which way to go i guess i'm gonna climb these i guess i'm staying over here i realize my bitching looks especially bad on camera because the depth of things just doesn't come through on camera that's just a fact however that doesn't mean i'm exempt from low skill either your complaints about my lack of skill may very well be valid despite the fact you can't see it as clearly as it is hello where are those motorcycles uh where are they there they are oh there's more than three five bros Oof. 
You guessed correctly. I came to gawk at the proper motorcycles. How are you guys? <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> I'm already not experienced enough and I don't think that bike's making it any easier for me. But I really wanted to try it because how often are you going to get something like that out here in the middle of nowhere? Did you guys come together from somewhere or did you meet up and then come out here? We, I'm from Telray Moto, so we tour people around this area. Okay, cool. And then uh, you're all touring with or you got another guy too? I'm touring with all of them. Okay, that sounds like fun. What are my options for getting from Telluray to, sorry, from Telluray to Uray? Well, this is the, is the best one. Is that street legal? Yes. Yeah, so yep. you can take off here, up, and then go back. Off here is bigger. With that bike, it's going to be a, it's going to be really easy. Um, what path are you talking about? Free pass. Uh, Ofer. Ofer pass, yeah. Is that easier than this one? Easier. That's the one I probably was on before because five years ago I took a Razor, one of those ATVs, and I, I went from Uray to tell you right somehow I can't remember how, but it was like a flat dirt path. Is that what that is? It's a, it's a road. Yeah, it's, it's a, a road. It's a road that has like two miles only where you have like rock slides. Okay. That when, when it's not clean, challenge, but it's thin, thin tires is per, it's perfect. Would you happen to know how many miles that is? Yeah. A, I think it's 12. 12. Oh, sweet. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's a different way to go back instead of IMAG because I want to do the same path twice. Yeah. So you're, 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 you could do 40, uh, or over, no, over 40 miles. Sweet. I'll look at that. Yes. So is that a EXCF Rally Edition? Yeah, this is the six days. The six days, yes. The rally is like a Honda. Yeah, there's like only 500 of those, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations. Very cool bike. Well, thank you for humoring me and for the information. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your ride, guys. Thanks, you too. Cool. Very nice. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to, when I'm stopped charging and eating and resting, I'm going to check the... Uh, maps to see what my options are. Damn, I'm tired as a bitch. I'm so tired. I knew I'd be tired. It's kind of hoping for that. Better chance of sleeping hard, but now that I'm tired, I don't want to be tired anymore. Mm. Crocs wrapping my butt again. Come on, man. I'm going to give this guy as much room as I can since he... I wonder if he stopped for me. It'd be kind of funny. He probably stopped for me somewhere and I stopped for him. He'll figure it out. Hey there. Can you do me a quick little favor? I have a couple zippers on the back of my jacket that are vertical. If you could just pull those two zippers down. down. Yes, please. Down yeah, there's another one parallel to it. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good ride. <laughs> are you, is that a question or. Today. <laughs> huh? Did you ask if I was having a good ride, or were you telling me to have a good ride? Have a good ride, yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you having a good walk? It's, it was uh, it was a little challenge getting up here, but not too bad. Not Says bad. you. I don't think I could do it. It was uh, once you get kind of to a certain point, your brain kind of shuts down, and it's just like right. You get in the groove, and you're just kind of going. Yeah, I almost wish I was doing what you're doing because this thing slips. Yeah. But I guess walking, you got a better chance. But this is a little faster, so. A little faster, yeah. And I don't know if it's less work, though. It's pretty tough. Yeah, but yeah. I don't envy you. That yeah. walking, I can't imagine walking up down a mountain like that. It is, uh, yeah. It's nice that I'm done now. So it's <laughs> the uphill part. Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, I hope those motorcycles are coming this way. But either way, I want to get going. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Whoop. I don't want that. Okay, too fast. <sighs> yep, I'll say it. Going up is hard. Going down is harder. At some point, my brain's gonna shut off. I won't be thinking too critically, and I'll just, I'll just slip, and it's gonna hurt. Kind of dirt, it's better. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. That's not turning. All right, this is flat enough. I'm gonna get these crocs out of my butt.
there. Now you ain't going nowhere. Net bungee bag system lets me carry lots of random stuff whenever I need to, and it takes like no room on the bike. This is better. Thank you. Oh, that was a big rock. And this ride's so shaky and bumpy, it's gonna knock the poop out of me. I'm gonna be pooped, and then I'm gonna poop. Ooh. Still got four miles to go. But this stuff isn't as bad. I know I just jinxed it, but this isn't as bad. Here I can go like 10 miles an hour. Go faster if I stand up. Really creepy. It looks like a collapsed mine. A mine. A mine. It's interesting. It's like the sun is on the other side of the mountain. The sun hasn't gotten to me. Ooh, ooh, wiggly wobbly. Uh oh. Was that motorcycle sign say? Don't. Be funny if it has that picture and below it it just says don't. And uh, Miguel Country Designated Road Forest, somewhere we go on, on, on licensed vehicles. Okay, cool, yeah, I know that. Basically, you can't just ride your dirt bike into town. I'm gonna go this way. Hello. <laughs> Alright, Jeep. McJeep. Where am I gonna stop? I don't see a stopping place. Okay, oh, he's got a stopping place. Cool. Alright, great, that worked out. Oh, big rock, big rock. Hello. See, this is okay so far. Mostly packed. I can kind of, I mostly have traction here and I'm not going up a downhill. This is, this is all right. This is all right. If there is a path like this that's more level and easier on the way back, I'm taking it. I do not want to do this again on the way back. My butthole is full of poop. Whee! Oh, my butt. Ooh, sunshine coming this way. Half a mile. Ooh, look at this. This is good stuff right here. Uh, there's a wind here. I gotta pay attention, but this is better stuff. This is the good stuff. I gotta slow down here because the car comes around. We're dead. Oh no, downhill. Oh no, rocks. These rocks aren't bad. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, that almost went really bad. Wee! If I get a chance, if it's not too difficult, I want to get this bike on a like a dirt trail. It could be the mountains, I guess, but something more traction friendly. Oh, they don't hear me. I'm sneaking along. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how close I could sneak up, but it's still kind of loud. Ooh. Dude, running up the mountain? Are you nuts? Are you nuts, my friend? Ooh! Purple flowers! I should have picked one. If I see more purple flowers, I'll get one. This has been good at the four mile marker. Shortly after I got out of that little mountain town with the motorcycles, it's been okay. There's some rock, more than I'd like, but I can not crawl like a baby scared pace anymore. Oh, are you moving or you stopped? Or stopped? Okay, then I'm going. Am I going? Yeah, I'm going. Well, I could have stopped there. Woo! 
this up. Hi, <laughs> <I> poop. <laughs> yeah, whatever path I did on the Razor, the UTV was basically just dirt, as I recall. And it got me from Ure to Telluride. Now, granted, the drop off point at Ure or by Ure, wherever that was, wasn't like in town, it was near town. So I'll have to talk to the locals, look at the map some more, and see if I can find what that path was. I, I just had such a darn good time with that because that path, if this bike can take it, I don't know if it can make the mileage, uh, was uh, also went by like a lake. And it was just it was just flat brown like red dirt as I remember it was so cool That's what I would love to take this bike back on if I can get back On that path before it rains then the ride will be just perfect for me. Oh my butt hurts oh, We have been punched in the butthole too many times truck car vehicle Is he pulling over or am I pulling over? There's room for me. I'll keep going Plus I have the right of way and there's room right there <laughs> Ooh, that almost ended up bad. Let's stop for just a second. I'm a little tired. Ooh, how far? Okay, that was another mile. Okay. Is that someone running behind me? It sure is. Hello. Is that dog with you? Okay. Shoot, no, I, I can't really go because then I'll get in their way. I have to let them go by me. Hi, sweetie. How are things? Running down a rocky mountain. Yeah, it really pretty much shuts my bitching up. Can't complain about eh, coasting down the mountains hard. These people are freaking running up and down mountains. It's insane. That dog just disappeared down a little tunnel. I wonder if it's water. Let's get going. What's down there? It is, it is water. The dog went for water. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Yay, this is a fun little area. <laughs> Bike really wants to recharge. It's like, let's go, it's just pulling me. Okay, now we're getting bad traction. So much nicer doing like 15 miles an hour instead of two. Oh, I hear a vehicle. It's a Jeep. Okay. I got you, bro. So, dude. Wee! Woo! <laughs> You. Ooh, I can see town on the map. Just under two miles away. Hey, Boop. Hello. Technically, he's supposed to stop for me, but I can get out of the way easier, so. Three. Thank you. Three Broncos, in fact. They're all clones. They're all twins. They're all family. Alrighty. Pardon me. Hello. Yeah, I'm, now I'm glad I didn't do Black Bear, because as I recall, um, there's it's even more steep than anything else in the world, and uh, it's all shale. It's worse than this. <clears throat> I don't think I could have made it. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I guess we'll never know. Fate did not will it so. I hear a vehicle, I think, to my left, so it's probably coming up the mountain. I can get over here. There you go. Oh, there's the town. Now, 
My destination is 1.2 miles away. The entrance of the town, ooh, it's probably before that. My destination is the, well, the one. An EV charging station I found on the internet. Now, I don't know if it's going to be available, if it's even there anymore, or if there, all the spots are full, but I got to find somewhere to charge. Ooh, look at this red, red dirt stuff. This is where it's at. This is more similar to the stuff I remember riding on when I was on the Razor. It wasn't all like this, but a lot of it was like this. Probably the best thing you're going to get a Telluride is right here. May as well get a look. What a cute-ass town. So I was here once before, but I came in somewhere. I don't think this was it. And I rode the Razor through town, which is apparently illegal, but everyone was doing it, which makes it okay. I remember being this green. Oh, motorcycle. Is that what that is? Oh, that's a razor. I heard something flying up behind me. That's an X3. Yeah! That thing is so cool, dude. It's probably the best UTV you can get. I looked at one once in my life, and I was like, this thing costs as much as a brand new low-trim Jeep. Why would I buy this when I can have a street-legal car? And that was the reason I got rid of the, the razor that I had. It wasn't because I didn't like it. I loved it, but there's just no way to make them street-legal and then not get in trouble because you can make them street legal and then ride it in my state but you would still get in trouble which defeats the whole purpose for me i want a vehicle that can go anywhere so like this one whew, i can go off road and on road and just go wherever i want oh it's a curb i was like what is that it's so smooth it's an actual curb this is like a road now so technically that x3 isn't supposed to be going this way or at least far at least not going into town because it's not legal but I'm not gonna shoot out for it. I'd do it if I could. Well, that's basically it. There's the concrete up there, pavement. And there we go. That's Imogene Pass on the zero. Whew. Oh my goodness. Whew. Oh no, look how busy it is. I heard someone say <clears throat> there's some kind of festival or some suchness in town, so that's not good news for me. Oh, that's really busy. Better things for you to look at, but I need less things to make the trip complicated, including the very high potential now of any EV charging stations being unavailable. Woo! This is so much easier compared to the <laughs> mountains. <laughs> oh. Throw my legs up, chillax a bit. Goddamn busy out here. Busy as balls. Squeeze. <laughs> so busy out. As I understand it, it's a parking garage. I'm already in the roadway, so I have to keep going. As I understand, there's a parking garage somewhere with hidden technology inside. This might be it. Resident. These are totally residents. I think I'll do this. Get the stupid application. I don't know what this address was because there's definitely no power here. You have no power here. You have no power here. But it looks like there are paid charging stations here. Are they available? No status, meaning there could be somebody there. And then there's this one. This one, though, this one is uh, right by a restaurant. If that is in fact a charging station, so let's use this one, 398 South Davis Street. I don't even know what it is I'm looking for. I don't know if this is correct, but we have to find one. At least it's not like I'm here riding around town with zero battery. I got 43 battery. I'm gonna be fine as long as I can find a place to charge. No one even knows that I'm here. I'm just sneaking right along. Wow. Whatever it is, it's, whatever they're doing, it's televised. I got cameras for it. Is this place any good? It looks good. I might come back this way. What the heck? Oh, I thought it was electric. I was like, that's not an electric bike I know of. This guy got to poop? Is that why he's running like that? I think he's got poop. I can't run when I have to poop. It just makes me have to poop more. This place looks like a lot of barnacles. This looks like a really fancy part. Yeah, like an expensive fancy part. I don't care as long as I'm allowed to charge. I'll walk to wherever I need to to eat, but I gotta charge the bike. Otherwise, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, a bunch of new stuff. These places, as far as I know, a house like that small is a million dollars. They're really expensive, whatever they are. I've never seen that before. I'll have to ask Mr. Sweeping Guy. Because this is where the map takes me. Excuse me, sir. How are you? Good. Do you happen to know of where an EV charging station is? Because the map just took me here, but this isn't doesn't seem to be a charging station. But I don't see any kind of EV charging. Okay. There is one at, 
at the parking garage over there at um, Silverjack? I don't know it by name, but I was up there like a mile, and it, it said there was a station, but I couldn't find it, so maybe I missed it. It's on Pacific. Can you tell me what it looks like? It's just a parking garage. Okay, is it? Roger's apartment's on top. Okay, well, I must have gone right by it. I'll look again. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your help. Have a good day. Scooby Doo. Yeah, that's that's exactly where I was. So there is one there. I just missed it. Sucks for me. I was just there, and I gotta do all this traffic stuff. Should have gotten back on that back road. I should have. I think I'm gonna take it. I could turn around right now and go hit that back road and get there faster. That's what I'm gonna do. Take the secret tunnel, secret, secret tunnel. Okay, so that's where I went. Silverjack, is that not it? This is what he described, this is the right place. I just don't see EV charging. Maybe, maybe it's the wrong, maybe it's the building next to it, maybe it's the other side of the building. This might be it. See, parking garage. Does it go down? It goes down, okay, great. There it is, woo! A legal charging station. <sighs> All right. Okay, I spent like 15 minutes here taking the rain layer out of my suit, plugging it in and changing my gear around, putting stuff in my pockets. And I decided to try my phone this time because my phone works really well, I just never use it. Instead of wearing a big old headband, so this will be a bit different. I'll have the camera kind of in front of me like this walking around a bit and then I'm gonna just go eat food and then I'll be back here within two hours and then I'll leave. This is Devin. He served me tacos and I told him he could be in a video because he's very cool. I want you to see him. Como estas? Um, you know, hablo espanol. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Jeep that followed me up the mountain. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely him because I remember seeing that thing dangle. I was like, is that securely loaded? They're clearly lost. I wonder what they're looking for. Are we able to give you money for a scoop of chocolate ice cream? Uh-huh. Okay, let's do that. A cup or a cone? Ah, uh, a cup because I'm lazy. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you, you too. Was it 92 you've been coming? Gary came I, I in, came 92, in 92 and I came in 93. Every year since? Have you missed a year? Um, the only year we missed was... Oh, we did miss it because... They, they didn't have one Because they didn't have one, right. It was because COVID. of the COVID. Yeah. I mean, they did. So you didn't miss one? No. Because it didn't happen. No. We did miss okay. one. Okay. Yeah. We just didn't count. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Betty. Well, it's kind of ironic that I'm going by a special film festival and I'm not going to have any part of it. I wish you could have heard what they said because they were so nice. But I realized there was a guy playing music nearby so you probably couldn't have heard much. Talked about a lot of stuff. Them mostly because I wanted to hear what they had to say. But uh, I told them at the end, they were my half point of the trip so I came here to see them and now I'm going home. Okay, I'm going to head back to my bike even though it's not quite done charging yet. But I'm going to start getting suited up and get ready to get on the bike as soon as it's done charging because... It looks like it's gonna rain, and I'll talk about my route. 
home when I get back on the bike. All right, I don't know what's causing this traffic hullabaloo, but I want everyone to know that a couple came down and got in that car and totally boned and thought I didn't notice. I super noticed. All right, I'm out of here. I took my rain layer off when I went down there and before I took off, I put it back on again because I just changed my mind about getting hit by the rain or not. And so I wasted a lot of time taking the layers out of my suit and putting it back in for the rain. But now I have rain protection because the plan is to take the, I don't know what it's called, the highway around to the left, which is like 45 miles and that's too far. However, I found a cut path that kind of, like the loop looks like this. It's mostly the paved road, but if you, you can cut through at some point, make it a bit shorter. Saw, dude. Oh, hey. Yes, I am the guy. <laughs> I came for you. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the only guy with the motorcycle. Here you go. Good timing. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny how that worked out. Actually, can I come in and fill my water bottle? Yeah. Much more bitter. I'm really thirsty. Yeah, I just wanted to come back and give that guy a spam card because I told him I would. Oh, that water was refreshing. It was nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you, Have a good day, dude. Thanks. Have a good ride. When I went to get water, I told him to get the buffalo chicken quesadilla because it's correct. Okay, holy tits. Walking around in the altitude and fat and suit. It's exhausting. But now, I think, for reals, the hardest part is behind me. So long, suckers. So long, tell you right. Thanks for all the fish. This route back is a route I've never done before. Should be mystery enough. Also, I don't know that this bike can make it, but I really think it can. So, this hopefully won't be an hour, and I'll be back at camp. And if I can get back and get stuff orderly before it rains, that'd be cool. Don't know if I'm gonna get rain on tonight. Don't know what's gonna happen, but I think my riding days is almost over. There's a bunch of bros. Oh, my butt's sore. I didn't really notice that until I sat down. I'm like, ow. Now this is either the exact same van or a coincidence, but that little, I don't know if you can see it on the top left of the van, that little black spoke. I remember seeing that on the strip in Ure yesterday, that spoke and thing. It was weird because I thought it was a camera. Drove by it and I could see it was not a camera. It's just like what seems to be maybe a holster for a camera, but it's just a stand or, or an antenna, probably an antenna. I don't know. Like, if there's a camera, it's not clear to me that it is a camera. Look how this side of the street is wet and this side is not wet. I hate, hate being behind cars when it's wet because they kick up, you know, water and just, you know, miss your visor and you can't see. Hippy dippy van. I want to be in front of this guy. Ah oh, man, of course there's a passing zone. There's a bunch of cars that are not going to allow me to pass. I can just still do it. Yeah, I can still do it. Just got to be a little slow. I don't want this thing to spin out like the bitch that it is. Nice and slow, gradual. Like it ain't no thing. So this road, I don't know what it's called. It normally, I guess, I don't know if it, the speed limit changes, but it goes way loops around the mountain on the north side, northwest side. And what I wanted to do was the southeast side. The million dollar highway is opposite of this. So I had no idea I was gonna be on this road today. So that's new and special. Yeah, as far as doing I'm a G Pass back up the way I came, a few reasons I chose not to do it. One's because I already did it. And two, I'm tired, I wanna do it. And three, if it's wet like this, it'd be even harder. So yeah, I wanna do a different path of any kind, even if it's boring. Now I think this will get less boring in a bit. I think it cuts through on a dirt path. Granted, it should be a really straightforward, easy one, but I'll, I'm for it. Yeah, I'm glad I put the rain layer back in. It's kind of wet and it's actually pretty cold. Ooh, here comes the rain. Yeah, I was looking at the radar and it looks like just several storms are spontaneously coming from the south. I think that's the south. They're just coming up this way. You can see some of those clouds up there. Okay, I think this is the halfway point, but I'm skeptical. That was it right there. Shoot. There should be a stop at gas station right here. I want to stop here. If it's, yeah, this is it. I checked on the map. Ch just make sure. Normally you take that another, oh, 20, 30 miles, but this is seven miles across, I think. Right behind me is that path to the left. I'm going to cut through this way, which supposedly by cutting that off, I save a lot of mileage, but I was wrong about the total mileage. I said like 18. That's just not right. The problem is I, on, on Waze and Google Maps, I can't get total mileage 
with stops in. It won't show me that, so I have to do math to figure it out. And the math I had done, is that it right there? The math I had done showed me that I can totally make it, but I don't have definitive evidence that I can. Okay, all right, all right. Simple, easy stuff. This is not bad. This is actually kind of desirable. This is a little bit better than pavement at this speed. Yeah, the mileage here is less, but I'm gonna have to go up and down hills, so I don't know about the battery life. We'll see, it's an adventure. Either way, I'm gonna be close. You want to pull over? Let me go by, please. Fine, I'll do it myself. Ass wagon, come on, man. You gotta know this etiquette. Thank you. Let me pause to clarify, cause I'm sure you're asking why. That looks like a fun place to get lost. Part of the problem, I confess, but I gotta get this off my chest. That's a lot of freaking rain, dude. This is the kind of road that this bike is suited for. <laughs> oh, oh, it's slippery. What is this, mud? No. Let me go over here. It's just wet rocks. Okay, cool. I'll slow down a bit. Yeah, that's a pretty sight. I'll take that. I'll take that pretty sight. Excuse me, love. Whoa, slippery. Would you give me that pretty sight? Would you back that ass up? Would you back that ass up, love? Put it right down, eh? Oh, we're going too fast. I'm going too fast. Not paying attention. This is a cool road. I'm a little bummed it's raining. I think I would have liked it more if it wasn't, but it's still a really cool road. Whoa, there's a car coming up. I was just thinking, am I alone? Is there nobody catching up to me? There is someone catching up. <laughs> Woo, this is a good road. This is a really good road. I like it. Could be better, but it's really good. Spike is doing great now. Uh, so, supposedly, this is the road that I broke off of. Didn't take the shortcut on. And it continues this way. 18 more miles, bro. If I make it, I'm going to make it barely. That's a total of 36 miles. There's a good chance I'm not gonna make it at this point. 36 is better than 45 miles, which is what the full path would have been. I'm gonna let him go by, cause, oh man. Go ahead, bro. Oh man, what is this road? This isn't the same road. I've been lied to. Also, I need this phone to not short out because of water. Oh, I'm not done. I see. I'm halfway through this dirt road. Okay, well, there's only one way I can make it now. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. It's going to be like, oh, we can't work because it's too wet. There's a small chance I can find some place to charge. I think there's a charging station there. Oh, there's, a, there's a fair, fair so-so chance of me getting somewhere to charge. I don't know. Well, there's nothing to do but to enjoy myself. So I'm gonna put my music back on and just cruise. Whew. It is cold. My hands are really cold. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> that was a good one. I hate when I feel wet underwear through my waterproof ADV suit. Gonna get some genuine guaranteed fresh swamp ass. Okay, well, that's it for the dirt. I can't imagine what other dirt there'd be. But that was the shortcut. I'm very glad I took it. That was fun. But now I gotta piss on this street. Oh, I'm gonna go really slow just because 60 miles an hour. I'm sorry, that's not happening. Ooh, that's deep. Get out of that. Get out of that. I'm gonna go really slow because well, pff, I'm not going to go 60 on this crap. Also, I know it would eat the battery on this. And uh, when we're going 35, I'll turn the hazards on. Since there's no one behind me, I'll just stay here in the middle of the road and take my time. 17 more miles to go. I've got 24 miles on here. It means 41 miles. That is further than this bike is capable of. I mean, not technically. I mean, if you went slower than 35 miles an hour, I've gotten like 44. So, I mean, it's it's in the air. I doubt I'm going to make it, but I will almost certainly make it to your end. There's that van that was, I was going to say, following me, but I was actually behind him. 
on this road. And then he took the shortcut, and then I got behind him and I passed him. And now he's catching up because I'm going really slow. Oh, it's a different van. It's not the same van at all. Hmm, the rain chilled out a bit. You can see sun up ahead. Maybe it'll start to dry off. That'd be so great. My hands are freezing. Yeah, sunshine! Woo! Look how nice it is over there versus back there. You can't even see the mirror. It looks like another day completely. Ooh, look at that. You can see how the road's wet and it's about to get dry. That's cool. That's actually really nice out when I'm just so wet and cold I can't tell. Whew. That was a good little adventure. I hope it doesn't catch up. Probably will. But just the rain and the cold, the dirt path. I was like, yeah, and now I'm like back to civilization like it never even happened. Cool. Like Ridgeway, this is a cool town. I'd like to explore it. Maybe if like it was dry for some reason. I expect it's going to rain the rest of today and tomorrow. But if it were dry and I was born EV. EV. EV, 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 EV. I, I don't need it this moment, but like I at least want to know where it is. EV. There it is. <laughs> okay. Reserve parking. EV only. That's me. Oh my god. Uh, here's the thing. I was super going to head straight back because I really thought I could make it by like two the mile. But, ooh, that's gross. At this point, it's like, why would I do that? Let's see if I can even use this. Uh, looks like it's free. I like free. Let me turn this bike around. This is great, dude. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, honestly, because I was like, I really think I'm going to make it to the mile. But there's kind of no point to do that. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, plug this Bamba Jam in for like... 30 minutes to an hour, just so I know it has enough juice to get back to camp. And then while I wait, I'll go right across the street, have a drink. And I'll take one of my cameras with me so the video won't end quite yet. Look at this, uh, what do you call that? Not soap, but the bubbles from all the compression. <sighs> okay, I'll leave my helmet on while I uh, plug it in this time so you can see. Oh, my fingers are so stiff because they're so cold. Give, bear with me, this is getting cold. Leather's off, they're soaked. A little tricky. Anyway, so crisscross rock straps. Rock straps are awesome. They're like high tech bungees, basically. So undo these. Always grab the elastic end before you do it, it's going to snap you. This comes off, and then that plate is for the aluminum case, which I rarely use, but if I want to go pick up food or carry a bunch of crap in town, I use that. Otherwise, this goes on there, and that big aluminum case can go on there, and then this can go vertically like this, uh, rock strap to it, so I can do both, but that's like a big load. If you know what I mean, this is my little kit I put together myself, so here's the power cable, standard outlet here in the U.S. Splits, and it goes to two things. It goes to the quick charger. Oh, it's soaked. There we go. Nice and clean. Quick charger on the bike. And then the standard onboard charger here. ka -chow. And I always keep this with, for this reason, a NEMA adapter. So it's like Legos. ka -chow. And this is what standard cars use in the U.S. anyway. And you go ka -chow. Stat. Vehicle charging. I'll be the judge of that. Good. I'm going to take my helmet with me as I want to leave it here. I'm going to walk across the street just like this, all soaked. Tiny bit more juice, and I'll be almost certainly guaranteed to get home. Very cool, dude. You stay in the sun. Don't be shy. There you go. Whoop. You're a little shy. There you go. All right, stay. And then this is for me, so I know how long I left my bike there and how long I have. This is where I just was. I rode this through the dirt path through here. I'm going to ride down about this far between Ridgeway and the other way. And then you can see the storm's coming. But I think I'll be okay. Is that it down there? It must be it. Hello, can I please have a mocha? What 
This one looks good. Thank you. <laughs> my watch says there's water in it. No surprise. In 15 minutes, it's already almost here. I gotta take my helmet off and gulp this down. Now that the rain is coming, everyone's getting the hell out of here. Speaking of which, I don't think it's, I don't think that's getting here. I think it's going that way because the clouds and the radar. And aside from the thunder, which there's definitely thunder, I found the other source of the low rumble. Metal pianos. Oh. I gotta touch them all. We're on pedal mode, gotta touch them all. I don't understand how you're supposed to play these. I think that's the point. They're all like in some key or whatever, so no matter what you hit, it sounds like you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> wow, those are loud. Stupid. Oh, well, this one doesn't have anything. Use my ring. Kind of. Reading rainbow. Now that's satisfying. Try it again. No. somebody watching me going look at the large strange man playing with the kids toys yeah, that's me that's as good as you're gonna get <laughs> i want to be dry this thing super has enough energy in it now i could like go fast if i want i could go fast and pop wheaties and i'd make it at this point so all right let's pack it up pack it up This net. Now look at this net. Seriously, super useful. Tell you what, if I was in my sweatpants and hoodie and Crocs right now, I'd be like, bruh. But as it is, I am soaked and a little sweaty. There's stuff right there. Is there food? Turn it to Let's skip out of here. Yay! All right, clean. Woo! Okay, well that's it for the trip, and that's it for the video. Unless there's a surprise, mystery, extra bonus, more nights tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen. If it's going to be canceled or if I'm going to record it, but if it happens, I'll include it. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I the trip went about as good as. I think it could have, aside from the fact that all the things that went wrong, for every thing that went wrong, a good thing happened instead. So all that considered, trip went well. Glad I did it. I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video or putting it on the background, however you enjoyed my videos. Yes. Good. All righty. Little charging station, my little house. The rain thing protected my tent, thank goodness. Oof. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you're all doing well and being good. And I'll see you later. Bye. Introduce yourself so if people watch this, they know who you are. Okay. Yeah. Hi, I'm Greg Everhart. Peace, love, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wait, this is not going to end up all over YouTube. YouTube. That's up to the YouTube algorithm to decide. I have no control over that. Oh, okay.
but I'll include you in my video because I like you so much. That's me quite a while ago. <laughs> when I raised two raccoons, then I eventually let them go off into the wild. That's probably the most important thing anyone could need to know about you. Is yes, the fact you raised two is. raccoons. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Come together and be aware of your own. Admit that the world is around when you at home. And accept that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. Give you time to use worth saving. And you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. For the times are changing. Welcome writers and critics who prophesize with your pen. And keep your eyes wide, the chance won't come again. And don't speak too soon for the wheels still and spin. And there's no time to do that it's Pull the loser at night, we'll be led to win. Pull the time. Welcome senators, congressmen, please hear the call. Don't stand in the doorway, don't lock up the hall. For he that gets hurt will be he who has stalled. There's a battle outside of religion. Let's see the windows and rattle the old walls. All the times, they are changing. Yes, they are. Mothers and fathers throughout the land. And yeah, don't criticize what you can't understand. Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. Excuse me, sorry. The right. is rapidly aging. No lies. So please get out of the new one if you can't lend a hand. For the times, they are a change. Cha-cha-cha-cha. <laughs>